Joachim Flebe restored the Zoo Palast movie house in Berlin to its former 1950s glory, only better and more luxurious. It's a listed building, and you can see why. It has high-tech loudspeakers, and the 800-seat main auditorium has leather upholstery. I first went to the cinema when I was about six. It blew my mind that there were so many people up on the screen. Until then, I'd only been to the children's theater. It made a huge impression. From then on, I was a fan of the movies. I did what many of my contemporaries would have loved to do, go to the cinema and watch great films. University kind of faded into the background. The high tech at the Zoo Palast cost one and a half million euros. We've installed all the latest technology with a 155,000 watt sound system. The average is about two to 3,000 in a regular cinema, but here it's 155,000. That would be enough for a large outdoor venue. Now that the Zoo Palast has gone luxurious, a doorman welcomes the guests. To provide enhanced service, the complex has a staff of about 100. A ticket costs 11 euros, which is considerably more than the usual price of a cinema ticket in Germany. Still, the main source of revenue is snacks and drinks. I could accept popcorn, but I drew the line with nachos. Not in my cinema, because of the smelly dips. I always hated them as a moviegoer. But this is a business venture, and I do have people in the firm who make sure I don't just float away on some aesthetic cloud, and we try to make some money. The Zoopalast is Flebe's largest and most modern cinema. He runs nine luxury movie houses across Germany. Sascha Ribnicki is manager of the Zoopalast, which reopened in November. On a good day, 4,000 people come to watch films here. They're just regular moviegoers who appreciate that for a somewhat more expensive ticket you enjoy better service. The average age is perhaps a little higher than elsewhere, but apart from that, it's the same kind of people you would see at any cinema. Apart from the main auditorium, there are several smaller ones. It's quite different from the Cinemax multiplex chain, Flebe founded more than two decades ago with large auditoriums for mass market movies. Cinemax flourished, but then got into trouble. It was a real crisis, and I had to bring in a new partner. But we didn't get along. As chairman of a listed company, you always get five-year contracts. And after ten years, mine wasn't renewed. That must have been frustrating at your own company. It was very frustrating. Cinemax had been my life's work. I knew every chair, every step, every employee. To leave was tough. It was a radical break. Flebe has been in the industry since the 1970s. Giving up was not an option. He's invested seven and a half million euros in his latest project. So have you invested all your money in the Zoopalast? No. But quite a lot. It's cost a lot, but it's not a suicide mission. It's a business venture. We thought about what we were doing. It's also fun to spend money on something you know is going to be well received, and it'll be worth your while. Not immediately, but I have a long lease, so don't worry about me. The Zoo Palast is a Berlin landmark. Hans-Joachim Flebe has revived it with plenty of money and even more love. <laughs>